Hi everybody! Uh, so this video is going to be about my Tourette's and specifically the tics that I have. And if you don't know what tics are, ha ha ha! They are from Tourette's Syndrome. They are movements and oh, noises that you make involuntarily or out of your control. They can be any movements or any noises. And um, what is mainly betrayed in media is the coprolalia side of Tourette's, which is the swearing, uh, which only about 10% of people with Tourette's have. I am in that 10%. I do have coprolalia, and you will probably definitely hear me swearing in this video. So, I have written down all of the takes that I currently have. Uh, since writing this list, I have gotten a couple more, um, so I'll put those in or you'll probably see them uh, if I forget to read them out. Um, okay. So, I am just going to go through the list, and I'll try to go through it quickly there is a lot of them. There is this entire page full of them and then a little bit more. So we'll try and go through them fast and try and make this video not insanely long. <laughs> okay so um, I'll go through the words first and then the noises and then the motor which is the physical movements. Okay so uh, I'll do the clean words first which I say makeup, cats, chickens, hey, no, what, love you, ow, cactus, hello, and biscuits. Uh uh. So those are all the clean ones that I have, and the ones that I say the most out of those are biscuits, chickens, and cats. Um, a, I think, yes, all three of those. I have picked up from other people with Tourette's that I've watched on YouTube. Uh, it's very easy um, for me and for a lot of other people with Tourette's to pick ticks up from other people and have them start being ticks that you do. Ha ha ha! So all three of those are ones that I have seen other people do and then I've started doing them. Um, my ticks are very... Um, suggestive. If you tell me to do something, like if you tell me to say something, or even if you tell me not to say something, I will say that thing, or I will do that movement, just because my brain's like, oh, I shouldn't do that, and then the Tourette's will make me do it. So, okay, off topic. Now we'll go to the dirty or offensive words, which are, just content warning, that these will be swear words, most of them. <laughs> um, fuck off, fuck you, bitch or bitches, or you're a bitch. Uh, I say naked, which isn't by itself really a offensive or dirty word, but it's a very strange word to be saying out of the blue and in public. Uh, dicks is another one. I don't say that one very often, um, but it happens. Um, when somebody shows me something, like a drawing they've done, or a piece of clothing they got, I will yell, it's ugly, which I do not believe. Um, yes, uh, I forgot to mention, a lot of the words that I say, I don't mean them. Like all of, when I say fuck you, or it's ugly, um, it's just things that my brain realizes I shouldn't say in that moment, and ugh, ugh, ugh makes me say them anyway. And even if it's something like, a lot of the time it's not even something that is a, a inappropriate in the situation, like chickens or cats or biscuits, it's just something that my brain always says without me meaning to. It's just like <gasps> hiccuping or sneezing or something like that. But then I do have the ones that are said specifically because it would be inappropriate to say them at that time. 
And then the last dirty one is shit. <laughs> um, so those are all of the words at the moment. I don't think I have any new ones that I haven't written down. Uh, so I'll go on to the noises. Um, these ones I'll have to demonstrate because unlike the words, they're just noises and you don't exactly know what they'll sound like just by me trying to explain them. So, <laughs> one I just did, was the first one, is sniffing or doing a really strong sniff, which is <laughs> So I do that one all the time. <laughs> and the next one is clicking my tongue. Kind of in the back of my mouth, near my throat. When I do quite a lot, which is confusing because it sounds like I'm answering people, is when I say, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because um, so it sounds like I'm saying no to whatever you asked me. Um, <gasps> the next one is a squeak, kind of squeak slash snip. So I'm squeaking while doing the first kind of sniff tick, so it's kind of a combination of two. One that I got a little while ago, that I was doing all the time for a while, and I still do sometimes, is saying hop three times in a row. So I go hop, 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 hop. And a lot of the time when I'm doing these, when I'm like uh, showing you examples, when I'm demonstrating the ticks, it will trigger the actual ticks, so if I like show it to you twice it's probably because the second one is the actual tick being triggered by me pretending to do the tick um and then the next one is instead of saying hop i say bop and that one could be once or three times in a row uh, i whistle all the time that was an actual tick because i was talking about whistling uh i do that one um and then I gasp, which is very uh, <laughs> shocking and scares my family members sometimes. Because I go, ah! Ah! and then they think like I'm like startled by something and they think something's happening when there isn't actually anything actually happening. Um, ha! That was the next one on my list. I read it and then that triggered me having to do it. So it's yelling, ha! Um, that was the next one. Uh, squeaking. Um, sometimes I just do like a general yelling noise, so I go, ah, ah, uh, which is also very annoying. Um, this next one I don't do uh, very much, haven't done very much recently, uh, and I don't know if I can even really demonstrate it. A lot of ticks I can't replicate. Um, because it's not me like trying to do it when it happens as a tick. <laughs> so I'll try to do this one. Uh, it's kind of like an ooing noise. It goes So <laughs> that one's a pretty long one. It can go for a long time and it's really annoying because I have to keep doing it until it's satisfied my Tourette's is satisfied with how it feels um, so it can go on for a long time which is very annoying because I can't breathe while I'm doing it because I have to keep doing it um, so that one is very annoying and I'm glad that it doesn't happen a bunch uh, hasn't happened a bunch recently uh -uh. oh this one's kind of like a hooting noise like an owl that um, just regular lip popping. That one happens quite often. Um, oh, this one is very annoying. Um, I shush people, so I go shh, 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 very loudly. Um, I never shush people like trying to, so that one is very obviously a tick, but it's still rude when you shush people <laughs> without meaning to. Um, and I usually do it directed at people. Um, whoop! That is the next one on the list, a whooping noise. Whoop! <laughs> um, and then the last one here is a, it's a really high-pitched noise. Pew! 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 That, which sounds like an, like an insanely high-pitched, like, ray gun, kind of, like a really high-pitched pew noise. 
Uh, and that's the last of the noises that I have written down. Uh, so, one that I just thought of, because it kind of happened, uh, is a really strong snorting noise. I can't do it <laughs> really right now. Um, but it's just like when you like snort really loudly, um, that's what it sounds like. And sometimes it hurts because I do it really strongly in my nose. Um, ah, <laughs> and I'm sure there's other ones that I'm forgetting and that uh, you've seen happen. But that's all the ones that I uh, have written down and can think of right now. This video is already really long, <laughs> but probably specifically because I take a lot so I have to take breaks in my sentences to take because I usually can't breathe when I'm taking let alone talk and so there's a bunch of breaks in my sentences which I'm sorry about if that's hard to understand but I literally can't not do it. So and trust me it's very <laughs> annoying for me too. So let's move on to motor ones or physical. Ticks. <laughs> um, so I clap very hard sometimes. Excuse me. Uh, I snap my fingers a lot, which you've obviously seen a bunch throughout this video. Woo! I roll my shoulders a lot, especially my right one. I roll it. That one is usually combined with a lot of other ticks. My shoulder just does that when I do a bunch of other ticks. But it's sometimes by itself. Uh, this one I don't do as much as my other ones, but sometimes I stick my tongue out. Uh, uh -uh. I get really rapid and uh, sometimes hard blinks where I have to blink my eyes really hard. Right there, <laughs> that was a real one. Um, so I have to keep blinking and blinking and sometimes like blink really hard, which makes it really hard to see and really hard to walk and like keep my balance because I can't see anything. Um, head jerking. I jerk to both sides, I jerk up and down and multiple times <laughs> sometimes. Um, bitches. I stomp my feet, usually pretty loudly and pretty forcefully. Um, cats! A lot of the time when I'm walking, um, I smack things. I smack myself, I smack other people, I smack objects. Um, even when I really don't want to, because that's what ticks and Tourette's are. It's not being able to stop yourself from doing these things. Um, and then I do the same thing with punching. I punch myself, objects, other people. Quite often, which I hate. Um, I hate violence and causing, obviously causing people pain. I don't like doing that or like destroying things. That's one thing with my punching and smacking is that I will try and do the most destructive thing possible. So I will smack things, I'll try and smash phones, glasses, hit people, smack things out of people's hands, all of that. I'll try and hit hard things to harm myself. Uh, and I have a pair of padded gloves to help so I don't bruise myself or hurt myself or other people. Um, which they're originally made for like MMA uh, boxing training. Um, but I just use it so I don't hurt myself or other people. Um, I do that. <laughs> I hand flick and rotate. Um, I do that, kind of like a motorcycle movement, um, which I think I picked up from a character on a TV show. Who does that? Uh, from Malcolm in the Middle. Now I'm doing it a lot, okay. <laughs> um, and then I do chest thrusts, which is very uncomfortable and is one of the more taxing ones because it's with my whole torso. So I like push my chest out and pull my shoulders back. 
so it like strains uh, the muscles in my back and in my chest. I'll look sideways so you can see it better. I go like that. A lot. Um, I do that a lot when I'm lying down. Because for some reason that triggers it and makes my body want to do it more. Uh, I do full abdominal thrusts like that where I thrust like my whole stomach and stuff out until like my entire back tenses up and it usually has to be a level of strain on my back muscles for the tick to be alleviated um, which is definitely probably my most taxing tick that I have um, oh yeah, I have lip popping on here because that one's also kind of a physical tick and a noise. Um, so I put that on both lists. Um, also the tongue clicking and stuff. Uh, I do face scrunching in a lot of different ways. Um, so I do that and I do all different kinds of things with my nose and my, my whole face. Which is very unattractive, which a lot of, most of my tics are quite unattractive to be doing all the time. But, oh well, um, I do a kind of an eye roll movement. Um, it might be kind of hard to see, but I go like... So I like, it's not a full eye roll, but it's like making my eyes force upwards. Um, which is quite uncomfortable and also impairs my sight. <laughs> um, I, along with smacking and punching objects, I also grab objects and I'm able to hold myself back from actually throwing them um, pretty much all the time, but I want to grab objects and throw them. So I usually grab them and then hold on to them so I don't actually throw them because I'm able to hold my tick back slightly and then I like put it down. Um, which is quite annoying because I usually do that to breakable objects like glasses and stuff like that. Like cups, also glasses. Um, I kick objects and people, which is also not good. <laughs> um, I do, I, you've seen this probably a lot, I punch and smack my chest. Recently I've been doing it with my knuckles, which kind of leaves red marks and sometimes bruises on my chest, which is painful and not good. Um, another content warning, I did it before I could say that. Um, I flip people off. Um, my Tourette's uh, usually makes me do it at people. Um, so like I can't just like hide it or like have sleeves over my hands so nobody sees it because my Tourette's will make me do it at somebody and sometimes uh, even like try to make eye contact with them which is really not good. I haven't gotten any really bad reactions yet. Um, nobody's ever like thought that I was actually like flipping them off and thankfully I can kind of like breeze it off. Um, and usually I can do it when they're like not looking at me, but we'll see if that ever happens. Um, that's the next one, hitting my head. Um, I also hit my head uh, like on walls behind me or next to me. Um, or just like on objects next to me. Ah, I flick. Uh, people and myself and objects. Um, <laughs> That's my next one. I stretch my arm backwards like this <laughs> until I feel a strain in my muscles and then I can put it back down. <laughs> huh. I also do this one is partially my OCD. It started off as just OCD, but then it's kind of a tick as well, where I tap things with my fingers. I tap all five of my fingertips on something, and then I tap my middle finger on it again, um, because <laughs> my OCD is really um, kind of obsessed with 
uh, sixes and so I would tap everything six times so all five fingertips and then the middle fingertip um, and I use the middle one because then it would be in the middle and it wouldn't be asymmetrical it would be right in the middle so I wouldn't have to like balance it off on the other side and then it wouldn't be six if that makes sense so that's become kind of a take along with my OCD ah! that's my next one is I kind of curl up <laughs> I bend my top half down towards my legs and sometimes lift my legs up to my torso. Um, I do that when I'm standing up too and sometimes I lift one leg up to my torso when I'm standing along with bending down over. Um, I tense my legs up so like when I'm sitting down with my legs out or when I'm lying down my legs will tense up and kind of lift off the couch or the ground uh, which isn't very comfortable because it's tensing the muscles a lot um, that's my next one I do this kind of claw clenching motion right here with my hand so I kind of like wiggle it around and like kind of open it and close it sometimes so it usually looks like that right here um, I <laughs> when I'm holding on to cups uh, my ticks really my dress really likes to turn them over so the stuff spills out of them which is very not good um, it's very helpful to have like a to-go cup so that there's like a lid on it um, or to drink things over the sink so that I spill it out into the sink. Um, I haven't actually spilled anything out onto the floor yet because it has been in a to-go cup or I've been doing it over the sink because usually I can kind of repress it slightly so it doesn't do the full upside down motion, it just goes kind of sideways. And then I can bring it back up. Uh, and then... Okay, I actually think that's uh, like the last one on there. Because I kind of mixed together the last two on the list. Ha ha! Oh. That's another noise that I forgot to mention that I've gotten since I've written this down is fake laughing. Which is very annoying to me and to other people. Um, sometimes it's just once or twice. But usually three times. You go ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. That second one was a real one. <laughs> oh. Yet another one that just keeps coming up, so I realize that I have more. That a k k k noise, I say that. I do that a lot uh, in the midst of talking, so I, k uh, I say it in the middle of sentences, k uh, like that. Um, just recently that started happening. Um, so those are all of the ones that I think I have at the moment. I get new ones all the time. Uh, sometimes daily, uh, sometimes every other day. The ones that happen to me change pretty much every day. The ones that are like the most popular every day uh, change all the time. Uh, so, ha ha! Obviously a lot of head jerking and smacking my chest is happening today, at least right now. <laughs> And uh, not very many words are happening today. Uh, huck at. <laughs> um, I also, I just keep thinking of new ones. Um, I have this new one that is very taxing on me because it impairs my breathing. Ha <laughs> ha. Specifically, um, a lot of my tics I can't breathe during, but this one is specifically about my breathing. Where I, when I breathe all the way out and my lungs are empty, it makes me stay there for a little bit before I can breathe back in. So it gets me kind of like shortness of breath, and um, it's very—it's not painful, but it gets that kind of panicky feeling where you can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is very unpleasant.
and it doesn't do that with every single breath I do it just does it every once in a while <coughs> a few times a minute or a few times every few minutes um, my ticks are obviously being triggered right now because I'm talking about them a lot and I'm listing them out and I'm demonstrating them for you uh, but my ticks are pretty much always like they're never anymore at least they're never completely subdued they're usually near this bad um, some days I have very good days where I don't take very much um, but it's never like unnoticeable ah! <laughs> um, but this is just how I live now at this is a very fucking long video. It's going to take forever to upload, so... Cats! I'm going to end it soon. Um, so, just saying, like, a few more things to tell you about my Tourette's. Oh! Ha ha ha. Um, as you can imagine, doing any movement lots of times over and over again will make you sore and is painful. And so a lot of the ticks by themselves aren't painful, but then when you do them 30 to 100 times, like, it gets very taxing and uh, very hard on your body. Um, when I'm ticking and you're talking, um, at least for me anyway, um, when I'm ticking uh, in the middle of when you're talking to me, you can continue talking. You don't have to stop talking until I stop ticking to continue talking again. I can completely pay attention to you and understand you and hear you just fine. Um, if I do have a really bad tick bout where I can't hear you uh, for whatever reason, um, I will just ask you to repeat what you said and it's as simple as that. <laughs> There is no cure for Tourette's. There is some medication that can help it that I'm not on. Because <sighs> a lot of the times the side effects of meds for Tourette's is worse than the actual Tourette's itself. Um, so I'm not on any. <sighs> but I am officially diagnosed with Tourette's. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. Uh, I just wanted to share my tics and a little bit about my Tourette's with the YouTube world, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!